I think uh, today I will take away a lot of information. Uh, when I'm explaining, oh, sorry, when I'm teaching my students, I used to use uh, thinking maps, but, but I, I don't use to organize them as the way you show us today. So hmm. that will be my a, a new a new tool that I'm gonna start using with my students. It will be so Thanks. useful. Thanks. Thank you, Stefania. Uh, well, I think I got my uh huh <laughs> with the thinking maps <laughs> because okay we we knew that we cannot explain but how okay yes. so mm. by using the thinking maps. Mm. So it's so useful uh, in this practice with the double bubble map. I understood mm. that the learner the, the learning is a strength now, okay? Mm. And we can we can make them uh, we can we can strength the learning in our students in that way, right? So it's so useful. Excellent. Thank you, Stefania. Adolfo, you can close the session. Yes, uh, I think that my takeaway is to is to think that first of all, the thinking map are applicable for all subjects, topics. So our challenge now is to make them happen in the classroom. Good. I want, I, I want to say something before. So really, I love this section, Mr. Cuss. Thank you so much. I love the practical classes. I love it. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea to mix the theory and practical. And so it was amazing section. Thank you.